I was very privileged to be here today uh, and, uh, and to present to you and share with you the experiences of I, that I've had over the years. Um, and in particular, the topic today is really something that I think is critically important to uh, a coach. And that is having people around you and working with you to help you uh, develop the athlete and improve the athlete's performances. And uh, I think um, what I see as the most important part of this is, is looking at it as a team and how do you bring together that team and then how do you make that team function to the best of its ability. I will preface this by saying that obviously what I will present to you today is the current system that I'm working in at Nutter Wadding Swimming Club and I'll give you the background of the club and, and explain to you what the organization looks like and kind of the resources that I have available to me. Um, but, I, but what I want to say to you is every moment I've been on pool deck from the day I started coaching and the different environments that I've been in as a coach, this has always been something I've felt is seriously important to my success, which is my athletes performing well. So whether it was myself and one other person working with me or myself and currently now quite a number of people, as you'll see, uh, I saw it as the same thing. That person that brought an added value to my program, expertise that I didn't have, that they needed to be working with me, through me, and supporting my athlete. They were totally, unconditionally responsible to reporting via myself and not independently working with the athlete. And this is what building successful performance service teams is about. The critical message through today will be to you, if you're bringing people into your program to work with your athletes who have an expertise greater than yours, okay, you need to make sure that they are coming in for the reason that you're bringing them in and that they are buying into what you believe is the most important component to that athlete's improvement. Okay? They need to educate you as much as they support the athlete. So at the end of the day, the more expertise you have around you, the more expert you become. So I'm not a physiologist, but I feel I've got a greater understanding of physiology in its practice because of the people that I've worked with in that area. So whether it's one person or ten, I think the, the key message for you today is making sure they're working with you and, and you're making the decisions along the way.